Splatter and Dodge, or Splodge as Diesel 10 sometimes calls them, are some of the most mysterious characters in the entire Thomas the Tank Engine series. So far, Diesel 10 managed to make a few more appearances throughout the show, such as being a good guy in Calling All Engines, the main protagonist in Day of the Diesels, and he even made a brief cameo in The Great Discovery. He also appeared in the Season 17 episode, The Missing Christmas Decorations. Hell, even Lady managed to make one more appearance after the Magic Railroad, and that was in Thomas's dream scene in Calling All Engines. Yet to this day, Splatter and Dodge have made their first and only appearance in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. But what happened to them? Where did they come from? How did they meet Diesel 10? In today's video, we will be trying to answer these questions and trying to uncover the mystery behind Diesel 10's two minions. If you find yourself enjoying this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But without further ado, let's get into the video. This is the untold story of Splatter and Dodge. First, let's talk about Splatter and Dodge before the events of Thomas and the Magic Railroad. The two diesels are based on the model known as the BR Class 08 diesel, the same model as Ari, Burt, Paxton, Sydney, and of course, Devious Diesel. These models were built between 1952 and 1962, and nearly a thousand of them were produced. The story of Splatter and Dodge most likely began around the 1950s, when their model was in their prime. Splatter is older than Dodge, though not by much. Splatter is the older and stronger brother who isn't the smartest but is still capable of completing a task. Meanwhile, Dodge is the younger and smarter brother, who may not be strong, but he makes up for it by coming up with clever plans and schemes. The two brothers have equal power over each other, using their skills to work together. Dodge is the brain and Splatter is the brawn. One day the two diesels were shunting trucks on the mainland when they were approached by a strange diesel. His name was Diesel 10 and he wanted to recruit the two diesels to help him take over an island called Sodor. Dodge was a little hesitant but after talking with Splatter he reluctantly decided to join 10. While on Sodor, Diesel 10 would constantly refer to the two Diesels as Splodge, much to their irritation. Every time they tried to correct Diesel 10, he would get angry and retort by saying, I don't have time to say both names! Not only that, but whenever one of the brothers questioned Diesel 10's actions, he would lash out at them. Splatter and Dodge eventually had enough and decided to quit when Diesel 10 ordered them to destroy Thomas and Lady. What happened to them afterwards? Nobody knows for certain, because they never made any more appearances after the Magic Railroad. Though there were two Diesels that made an appearance in Day of the Diesels named Paxton and Sydney that kind of resembled the two other Diesels. Maybe a little too much. Let me explain. Sydney is more of a dark blue slash purple color, and so is Splatter. Sydney is also not the smartest diesel out there. Neither is Splatter. Paxton is green and a little more on the smarter side, but so is Dodge. So wait, if there are two diesels that look and act like Splatter and Dodge, do you think they might... <gasps> Guys, I think I figured it out. Paxton and Sydney are Splatter and Dodge. I mean, think about it. It can't be a coincidence that two diesels that just happen to look like Splatter and Dodge appear on the island of Sodor out of nowhere. My theory is that Splatter and Dodge were always in the series this entire time or at least in the CGI series. Ari and Bert are twins too, but it couldn't be them, because one, Ari and Bert have beards and Splatter and Dodge don't, and two, 
They appeared alongside Paxton and Sidney in Day of the Diesels. So, somewhere between the events of Thomas and the Magic Railroad and Day of the Diesels, Splatter and Dodge must have changed their identities and their designs to avoid suspicion when they returned to Sodor. They also completely changed their personalities, or at least Dodge did. Splatter became Sydney, and Dodge became Paxton. Case closed. And that is going to have to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Let me know if you want me to do more backstories in the comment section down below. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next one.